I just flew 7,000 miles to see my fiance who lives here in the Philippines. It's been over four months since we last embraced and I've been learning just how hard a long distance relationship can be. Welcome to Province Smile, season two. This time we had a new destination in mind, the island of Palawan. Where we hear it's beautiful, we wanted to go see El Nido and experience some of the tourist attractions. And then there was a lot of food, a lot of exploring strange and unfamiliar places that kind of made me uncomfortable at times. But we made lots of friends and lots of good memories. Here's how it started. We watched this on TV. Are they eating adobo? And then you dance while you're <laughs> eating and watching. <laughs> One thing about the Philippines, everyone loves to sing and dance all the time. Since Joy's voice makes it hard for her to sing, she seems to make up for it with dancing at the most random times. At first I thought this was just reserved for the disco, like my last visit. But no, Joy doesn't do much public dancing. She saves it all for her friends and behind closed doors. <laughs> Everything. She always does it as a joke, but I love her glowing smile every time she does it. Now I'm terrible at dancing, but she absolutely loves it when I at least try to dance with her. And she was trying to show me some moves here, but I just, I couldn't get it. But even my failed attempts made her happy. In a way, I'm glad I was able to record some of these, because you just normally don't see this side of joy, unless you're one of the few people who are close to her. Mm, this is egg. So anyway, back to the story. Joy made me a home-cooked meal of adobo so I could eat it right after I landed. Look at all that fat. An hour here and I'm already spoiled. Even Joy's sister gets spoiled with her food. <gasps> you might be wondering how we met. Well, it was on a site called Christian Filipina, after I swore never to join another American dating site again. Her profile was simple, but it clearly showed her faith in the little bit that she wrote. It was important to me that we had the same beliefs, goals, and temperament. Not to mention, I just thought she was really pretty. One day I finally called her, and it blew me away her trust in God despite such horrible challenging things in her life. Not to mention, she just loves to take care of those around her. I mean, look at this. She wanted to do this. Apparently a lot of girls in the Philippines are like this. Thanks, Christian Filipina. This trip felt different than the last, with the rain cooling down the city, and yet there were still workers everywhere. Even in the rain, the city is busy with life, but not as much as normal. People did what they could to stay dry with what they had and kept busy. The first thing I wanted to do was get some pandasol for breakfast. So we hit up our favorite bakery at the sea residence. Everything looks and smells delicious here, and it's quite reasonable in the price. I got hooked on their Americana with the condensed milk too. Liver spread at a coffee shop? It actually tastes really good on Pandasol. Then we walked down to the local corner store to get some eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Grapefruit right there. That's what I want to try. Suju. Salt duck egg. And then quail eggs. But we just got normal chicken eggs and headed back upstairs to make our breakfast. Don't say vlog when you're vlogging. Eggs <laughs> and pandasol. And she wants to make more. We had to get to the airport at 5 o'clock, so we decided to go over to her sister's apartment for lunch. This is the place we bought a Miriam house here. Oh my gosh. And then we didn't come home for one day. And it's awful all of a sudden because it's flooded here and all oh, the things really? is broken. She was talking about an old junkie house that she used to rent, but this, however, is a nice apartment complex residence that a lot of Chinese and Vietnamese people stay in. 
Another reason Joy wanted to show me this place is because this is where she worked as a housekeeper the last couple months as well. So staying in one of these for 24,000 pesos is equivalent of $400. Kind of grass. He's eating that kind of grass? Yeah. For, for because he wants to? There were even restaurants and coffee shops on the property and a nice little meeting place where we were able to hang out with our friend and sister before we left town. Don't look like a food. Well, I gotta show who's eating the food. Joy booked a grab and we headed for the airport later that day. Traveling with Joy is always surprisingly pleasant. Even though we both don't know where we're going or anything about the airports or anything, it's always comfortable and relaxing, even if something goes wrong. It's nice when a vacation actually feels like a vacation, instead of stressing out over little dumb details. Welcome to Porto Princesa on the island of Palawan. Wait, who's filming us? Did someone steal my GoPro? Oh, that's right, it's just this lady, Ava, who owns the hotel we're staying at. And look, she's carrying our bag too. She happened to be on the same plane flight as us. Dogs everywhere. And she helped us way more than we could have ever imagined. She helped us figure out what tours to take. They're sending Pearl. Okay. She walked us from the airport yeah. to the hotel, which wasn't very far at all. Oh, it goes way in there. In fact, her and Joy were texting the whole rest of our trip. It's like she was our personal assistant. Runway view, this is us. Travelers in. Now don't let the dark dirt road alley fool you. This place was amazing. Here we are. It was one of the newest and cleanest and best smelling places we've ever stayed at. Are you ready? Let's go. Shortly after we settled in, we ran back out the door because of this. Nice hey to Ken. Meet you. God bless you guys. <laughs> What's your name? This is Chris. Chris. This is Jason and Joy. We had a dinner with some subscribers who happened to be in the same place at the same time. It was fancy and delicious and good conversation. Being polite, so I'm riding all of them back. So I look, I look at her picture and I say, there's not a chance. They also recently got engaged. <laughs> so we took some cheesy pictures and some cute ones and said goodbye because they had to leave early in the morning. Look at that. One of the surprising things about this vlog is reading the hundreds of comments from others who have already gone through a similar experience as us. Some 10, 20, or 40 years ago. Although there are a lot of haters, there's a hundred times more support and love. This truly is one of the greatest experiences I've had in my life. And all because I took a risk and winked at a girl on a website.